And so, and on the libertarianism side of things, I, as, a, as a former prosecutor and, and who was appointed um, by President George W. Bush on September 10th, 2001, um, I just want us to be really cautious because this strain of libertarianism that's going through both parties right, right now and, and making big headlines, I think is a very dangerous thought. Uh, President Obama has done nothing to change the policies of the Bush administration in the war on terrorism, and I mean practically nothing. And you know why? Because they work. Because they work. And I think what we have a country has to decide is, uh, do we have amnesia? Because I don't. And I remember what we felt like on September 12, 2001. And have there been some mistakes made over the course of time? Of course, because it's human beings and their judgment calls. There have been some mistakes made. But I, I want to say that I think both the way President Bush conducted himself and the way President Obama has conducted himself in the main on those type of decisions hasn't been different because they were right and because we haven't had another one of those um, attacks that cost thousands and thousands of lives. And as the governor now of a state, that lost the second most people on 9-11 behind the state of New York. Right. And still seeing those families, John? Right. I, I love all these esoteric debates that people are getting in. Senator um, Rand Paul, for example? Well, listen, you can name any number of people who have, who have engaged it, and he's one of them. I mean, these esoteric intellectual debates, I want them to come to New Jersey and sit across from the widows and the orphans and have that conversation. And, and, and they won't. Because that's a much tougher conversation to have. So as a country, and whoever's the leader so of this country... the response country, to Obama being in the White House, do you think... No, I don't this, think so. ...this drift I, towards libertarianism? No, I don't think so. But I think, but I think he started to cause it. I don't think it's because, in reaction to him. But he had a lot of rhetoric in 2008. He was going to close Guantanamo. He was going to stop this. He was going to stop that. And I remember I used to say to Mary Pat all the time, as somebody who had top secret clearance, I said, well, man, when he sits in that chair and starts to hear those briefings, his tune's going to change fast. And it has. And so for those of us who are on the front line of it, for those of us who are on the front line of that in the years after that, the U.S. attorneys, the FBI, the CIA, the people who are on the front line of trying to keep this country safe, I just say it's not a debate not worth having. But I think we need to be very cautious about how joyful we are over the idea that somehow we're going to shift this baby way back because the next attack that comes that kills thousands of Americans as a result, people are going to be looking back on the people who are having this intellectual debate 